Have you ever learned something the hard way where you made a massive mistake and afterwards you're like, I wish I knew that without having to go through that? Well, I've certainly been there. And in today's video inside, I want to share with you the five money advices I wish I would have known much sooner and maybe didn't really have to experience firsthand. <laughs> Now, without further ado, Insider, let's go on to the five money advice I wish I knew in my early 20s. The first being, ask really stupid questions sooner. I can't tell you how many times, Insider, that if you don't ask it sooner, you're gonna experience a point in your life where you're asking stupid questions when you're really old. And I remember when I was getting a new accountant and I hadn't asked stupid questions when I was starting my first business and I just thought I kind of knew everything and that was like, like a decade ago. I just had a massive ego. Even though it's my first business, I acted like a freaking baller. And because I didn't ask any questions, when I finally, when it came to doing the taxes, I got an accountant and I'm asking him really stupid questions and he's giving me funny looks. He's like, how did you start a business without that, right? And so you gotta ask yourself inside it, how can you ask stupid questions? Because I wish I'd done that and I still, to this day, ask tons of stupid questions because that way I don't have to do it later in my life. The second money advice is realize the internal dictates the external. A lot of my life inside it, I struggled financially, not because I lacked the strategies or tactics. You can Google most strategies and tactics nowadays in terms of launching your first business and yet most people aren't successful with launching their first business. Why? It's not because it's a business problem, but it's because it's an internal problem. As a business is nothing more than a reflection of you. Same in terms of your wealth. Your bank account balance is in direct proportion to your self account balance. In terms of your mindset is a reflection of your bank account. And so realize this, if you've got a broken relationship in regards to money, kind of like how I used to have, because I used to hang around with broke people, if you believe selling is evil, if you don't like closers, if you don't like marketers, if you're somebody who always skips adverse, if you're always somebody who walks into retail stores and says, I don't need any help, stop selling to me, realize these are all of the beliefs you've got and these beliefs aren't gonna serve you well. And so in order for you to tackle the visible, this is what T. Half said on interview, he said how in order for you to tackle the visible, you got to tackle the invisible. How are you really walking around this planet? What do you believe about the world? What do you believe about other people? What do you believe about money? Remember this, belief equals feelings, feelings equal action, action equals results. Your belief right now, your internal belief is dictating your external. I wish I would have upgraded myself much sooner in my life in terms of my mindset. The third thing I wish I knew in my early 20s is in regards to how the more you learn, the more you will earn. And I can't tell you how true this is inside it. Now, before you start studying about everything about the world, remember our most important asset is focus. You wanna think about what you want to become world-class in that the marketplace also desires from you. So think about what is it that brings you the happiness, the cash, and also the flow. This is what I mentioned in here in terms of finding that gift within you. Happiness, cash, and flow. Write down everything that gives you happiness. Write down everything that gives you the cash. Write down everything that gives you that feeling of flow. And what you'll find when you entwine all of that, you'll find the couple things. That's what the world desires and you're passionate about it and you're willing to put in the work to be able to make more money. So you wanna learn more about that topic and you wanna master that topic because the more you keep on learning, the more you keep on earning, as after all, you don't know what you don't know. The fourth lesson I wish I knew inside it is in regards to how the Joneses don't really care about you. Most people on this planet, they walk around thinking everybody kinda cares about them but what they don't realize is everybody's walking around on the planet also thinking the same thing. Realize the person next to you, they couldn't really care less about you because they're too busy worrying about what you are thinking of them. And yet people go out there buying brands they can't afford, trying to afford watches they, that they obviously can't afford, trying to get the Joneses life and they're going broke in doing so. In my teens, especially when I was in high school, going to college, I was buying brands, I was buying these sneakers that I couldn't afford and I wish I would have put that into more of the self-education, learning more about business. I wish I would have put more into terms of learning about personal development, mastering myself. 
other than just wasting money on stuff that I couldn't afford at the time. Let's stop trying to impress the Joneses and let's start trying to impress ourselves because we want to get to the top of the mountain, not so the world can see us, but so we can see the world. That's what it's all about inside. Now let's go on to the final money advice I wish I knew in my early 20s. And sometimes I still make this mistake to this day because sometimes it's just so compelling and you'll know what I mean. Mark Twain once said how, whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect. If you follow mainstream advice from the majority, you will get the results the majority get. The thing that I do very different nowadays compared to my early teens is I listen to the minority for advice, not from the majority who preach this advice, who always say, save your money till retirement and all of that. You wanna live your amazing life at the end of it all. Screw that. I wanna live an amazing life now. And I'm ever so glad I woke up to this freaking brainwashing that everybody's thinking I'm gonna save money till retirement. No, aim to get rich younger than later. So what you wanna do? Well, work on your high income skills. Work on getting a business off the ground. And that way you'll be able to live the life you're truly born to live. You know, in this book inside it, this is what my belief is. I believe every single one of you, you've got a life you're born to live. And unless you start following your heart, the things Steve Jobs talked about, the things Jack Ma talks about, the thing Oprah Winfrey talks about in terms of how intuitive choices are the best choices you will never make the right decision. So go out there inside it and be brave, be bold, be willing to stand out amongst the masses and you'll find you will be able to create the results that most people can't create. Thanks so much for tuning inside it. And as always, my friend, follow your heart and take action and go live the life you're truly born to live. I'll see you on the next video soon. Take care.